Today we're in Cedar City, Utah. It's about 50 miles north of uh, St. George in southern Utah. Last night we spent the night at the uh, Walmart here at the edge of town. And uh, we're going to head out today. Uh, but the thing that we got to take care of before we leave is these um, Wrangler or not the ring of the Goodyear Marathons these are actually the original tires and you can see these are about to go so I gotta get them replaced you can see there's cracks down there and the tread is near uh, the edge of just falling off so and there's not much tread left anyways as opposed to these that are replaced they're still in decent shape so we're gonna get these replaced uh, probably just gonna do the two and uh, head out. We're gonna try to head over to uh, Bryce Canyon. And we're at about 6,000 feet elevation. So the temperature is much cooler. So I'm gonna get ready. In the next half hour, we'll probably be on the road again. We're doing some research on where we can go, where to stay. Girls are watching a movie. Ava got bloody nose again. Now oh, what happened? Maybe it's too dry here? A little bit. Okay. Mila, what are you doing? You drinking water? Night night fingers? What are you watching? What is it? You don't know. Okay. So, what are our what are our camping options for tonight? Hmm? Can't wait. What are you looking at? No. Can't wait for forty bucks. Yeah. Sometimes they're cheaper though when you show up. Oh. Ow. I mean, remember in New Mexico? No. They lie to us about their. Uh, their vacancy? I think we just need to call them. I don't know how much this Ruby Ann is. Ruby Ann is supposed to be nice and ex but expensive. Campground store and laundry, that's cool. I'm gonna do laundry. But any of these places are at like are like a good hours hour, hour and a half drive away, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get going. Okay. Let's see if it's our tires. Yep, gotta fix the tires. Here's Yoda. She's a lot happier here with the cooler temperature. And Luca. He's awake. He's not crying. That's good. I'm gonna leave him alone. Are you calling Ruby Ruby Zim? Mm -hmm. You're not KOA though, right? No. Why are you crying? Yeah, I'm calling about um, RV parking for the week. I was wondering if you had any availability. How much talking? For today, for a week. Okay, well, she calls. I'm going to go take a look at our battery. I've been putting this on equalize mode. Top it off the uh, distilled yeah. water in the have battery. Yeah, you have a weekly rate. Oh, you don't have a weekly rate. No okay. weekly rate. And how These much are is paying your... like fifty bucks a night. Pay your new section. And how much is that? So a charge controller has this equalize feature that kind of puts this uh, battery in kind of maintenance mode. It uh, supposed to kind of cook the. Uh, water in these batteries that need maintenance and then I'm supposed to put it on equalize mode for about an hour and then come back and top these off and put it back on and it's supposed to give it a you know better overall charging capacity and things like that so that's what I'm doing unfortunately we don't have these newer sealed batteries so we have to do maintenance on these and these batteries are the ones we got in 2010 and our first trip 
we pretty much found out right at the beginning of the trip that our batteries are shot so we had to get new ones and these are what we got in Tucson and they've actually done pretty well so far so we're gonna see how much longer they last these are uh, January 2010 vintage so they should have you know at least a few more years left in them so we'll see all right a couple more maintenance things and we're gonna head out we decided to get all four new tires for the Airstream and uh, we're at big old tires in Cedar City so before we start heading east where there's not going to be many uh, big towns around we thought we get these done so we had um, four tires plus the spare and ever since we bought this back in 08 we've only swapped out one of the tires so we've had two um, that are in decent shape. One is the spare, so that was uh, not used, that sat underneath. And then the other one was a new one that we swapped out back in 2010 when we were in Miami. Uh, and those are tires that were made in 2006, so that's a good six years ago. It's probably a smart idea to get them all swapped out and have the new one that we got, which was an 09, put under there as a spare. We wanted to try these Michelin LTX tires that people have been talking about, but uh, they don't carry them here. But instead, they, uh, they're they getting these other trailer tires that are supposed to be pretty good, as opposed to the 8-ply that the Goodyear Marathons are. These are 10-ply trailer tires. So we'll check them out, and they're cheaper. They're a lot cheaper than the Michelin LTXs. So we'll see how they work out on this trip. What are we waiting for, girls? Tire. Tire? We're getting new tires, huh? So that we don't have Happy. our tires explode while we're driving. Yeah, where's the tires? Oh yeah, there's a lot of tires here. The tire store. Yeah. Luca. Luca. He's eyeballing the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> How are your snacks? What's in them? Um, nuts, honey, and raisins. Oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. You eat it. Is this your lunch or are we going to eat lunch? Hmm? Are we still nah. going to eat lunch? No. Nah. No? This is your lunch? What am I going to eat? I don't know. Is yours yummy? Mm -hmm. What's in yours? Is yours the same? Um, the honey in it. Has honey in it? Yeah. You're like a bumblebee? No. <laughs> Wanna see? It was crazy. So here are the new tires. They are, uh, they're called Commodores. They're not probably the best tires you can get. Um, I noticed that they're made in China, which I don't know if the uh, Goodyear marathons are US made or not but they are 10 ply tires versus the uh, marathons that's only 8 ply and it looks like they did balance my wheels for me which they didn't do last time at Walmart they put in a new valve stem so we'll see how these go it does give me a peace of mind to know that you know these are new new rubber so we got a probably good 10,000 miles to go for the rest of the trip maybe more and then the one good marathons are down underneath as a spare now Let's see where that is yep there's that that's still in decent shape so that pretty much wraps up our uh, maintenance for the day and hopefully for the next few weeks <clears throat> until other things come up there's been some raindrops so we better head out
shoes up. Head is down. Head is down. We got a proper seat back up or something. What about Yoda? What's Yoda doing? I'm just gonna go to the next one. Fan number three. Here we made it to Pankich, Utah, which is just uh, about 20 minutes or 20 miles away from Bryce Canyon National Park entrance. We could have gone all the way into uh, Ruby's Inn. <clears throat> There's a KOA that's kind of near, and Ruby's Inn's kind of nice because Ruby, Ruby's Inn's got a, a shuttle, I guess, that uh, takes people into the park. But um, it was $46 a night as opposed to here we're only paying $25 a night that's including tax so and it's kind of a cool little town it's kind of a cool old western town that has a lot of these brick buildings and apparently back in the day this uh, this town was its primarily um, purpose was to manufacture brick from probably the mountains this is the resources from the mountains around here so there's a lot of old buildings here that are still standing from those old bricks. So we're going to spend maybe a day or two just kind of exploring the little main strip they got. But here we got a, our first full hookup site for the trip. So the kids are in there, Marlene's in there, they're watching a the movie, we just had dinner. It's a pretty small little RV park, but it's got full hookups, laundry room, hot showers in a beautiful place right here in Utah and there's a uh, there's a uh, RV wash area coin up and vacuum so if you want to clean up before you head out you can do that too so it's pretty cool we'll be here for at least three days I think that's the plan anyways Alright, so I think that'll be it for the day. See you guys tomorrow.